Welcome back to the month of horrors. This is George, and I have recently watched Frankenstein vs. the Mummy. Um, and if you've been watching, you might have noticed that I've already done the Frankenstein theory. This was actually a double feature. So for one dollar, both of these movies came together, and that was not a good deal. Dan lost out on that deal. Um, this one's better. It's it's better than the last one. Um, marginally. Okay, so, Frankenstein vs. the Mummy. Um, it starts out, you've got these professors, you've got Professor F, Victor Frankenstein, and uh, he teaches, he's a, like a medical doctor, and he's teaching students at a university. And then you've got this girl who's a doctor, uh, not a doctor, but she's a some sort of archaeologist, scientist type thing, and she found a mummy um, on her recent trip to Egypt. So she's got the mummy back at the university, and these two are going to go on a date, and they dig each other. Um, she doesn't know that he's building Frankenstein in the basement of a dilapidated old like hospital or sanitarium or some shit. You know, movies, like horror movie trope where it's got like the little baby doll on the abandoned uh, bed and the peeling paint and the the chains that you'd use to like chain down a, a crazy person going nuts just swinging in the wind that kind of stupid shit chairs tipped over and just left everywhere um, so yeah in this nasty basement is where he's doing his incredible science experiment to make Frankenstein. Um, but they dig each other, and she's found a mummy. And uh, and so right away, you know, you really know, okay, this is going to be pretty cheesy. Um, his character, Victor's character, he's terrible. Terrible. Full of movie tropes, full of just crap acting. Um... But he's, oh, sorry, almost dropped my phone. Um, he's, you know, he's obsessed with trying to vindicate his great grandfather's work or whatever. Um, so he's working by himself secretly. He's got this guy named Carter who gets him body parts, apparently. And the last thing he needs is a brain. So he asks for a fresh brain. So Carter goes and kills someone and brings him the brain. And uh, he's like, here you go, but now I want more money because I killed someone. And Victor's like, I didn't tell you to kill anyone. I just want a fresh brain. And so Carter's like, well, where do you fucking think I'm going to get a fresh brain from? So he killed someone. Um, so anyway, so then they're, they're fighting over the, you know, the price increase and whatnot. And um, they end up fighting. Victor kills him, but in the scuffle, the brain got dropped and squished, and now he's bawling his eyes out and bitching and moaning, and all his work is ruined, so he just cuts out Carter's brain and uses that. Um, you know, electrocutes it, blah, 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 blah. Um, oh, while they're fighting, you see just a hand, a reanimated hand, like in a sink, just moving around. And Carter's, like, freaking out, like, what the fuck? And that's what distracts him and lets Victor kill him. Um, so while this is happening, the mummy that the girl found, she's not even involved with that anymore. Some old dude, some old professor is involved in that, and he's got assistants, and so they're looking at the mummy, and he's got, like, this eye of Horus, like, green rock stuck in his chest. And they pull it out, and, uh, like, the soul or some shit of this mummy uh, ekes out and, and has taken control of the old dude. Um, the mummy's actually kind of cool, though. Um, the, the effects that they used, the practical effects that they used to make the mummy, I think they did good. It was probably the best thing in the movie was the practical effects for the mummy. Um, so there's, there's this scene where... He, like, 
shoves his hand inside the assistant and pulls his heart out and starts, like, chewing it and shit. And then, like, he's laying there on the table and the blood that's all over his face from, from eating this fresh heart just sort of, um, it, uh, it just sort of, like, I don't know, soaks into his skin. Um, so that's kind of a cool effect. I mean, it seems like it's probably just like a reverse shot, you know, like he had the blood in his mouth and dripped it out onto his face or something, and then they just reversed it. I don't know. But it, it came out okay. Um, so the mummy's kind of cool. Uh, the mummy kills a few people, and uh, the professor gets this, you know, girl to come down to be killed and eaten by the mummy. Um, at the same time, you got, uh, Frankenstein, uh, Frankenstein's monster is now alive, and of course this terrible Victor Frankenstein has to yell, it's alive, you know, because you do that in a Frankenstein movie, um, but it was just so cheesy, it just, it was shitty, I wish he hadn't done that. Uh, and it's this, like, tall, lanky, muscular dude with a terrible, like, mask on. Terrible effects. But he's not a happy Frankenstein monster and, uh, fights with Victor. And Victor has to chloroform him and chain him to the wall. (sighs) Shit, sorry. It's like four in the morning. Dorsey. If you watched my last Frankenstein video, you might notice that, uh, it looks exactly like this one, because I just got done recording that one. Um, so, the Frankenstein monster is awake, and chained to the wall, and pissed off, and asks for water, and so Victor's like, whoa, you can talk, holy shit, you want to try to read? And he writes down the word cat, and dog, and Frankenstein, just, the Frankenstein monster uh, reads the word psychology and chloroform off of things. And now he's pissed because he sees the chloroform. And he wants food. So all this time, Victor was supposed to have been on a second date with uh, the female professor that found the mummy. And he totally bailed, you know, to build Frankenstein. Um, which I, I guess, you know... It's like his life's work and his family's legacy... It, it's not a good excuse for missing a date. Um, but it's better than, like, I got stuck in traffic. I mean, but he still could have called or texted, asshole. So anyway, so he's um, he's going to get some food for Frankenstein. Um, and he sees the this female professor, and she's pissed off, and she's like, Don't talk to me, you bastard. All men are just terrible. I thought you were better. And he's like, oh, I love you so much. We hung out one time and boned, and now I'm in love. Forgive me. Give me another chance. And she's like, nah, fuck off. Um, And that's about that, right? So uh, he brings, like, I don't know, tzatziki or some... It looks like a a Greek... Is it pronounced hero or gyro? I don't fucking know. It looks terrible Um, and gooey and gross, and so he brings that, and Frankenstein's, like, shoveling, just pushing it all in his mouth, and starts, like, gagging and throwing up, um, clearly doesn't want that, um, and she followed Victor back, and has now seen Frankenstein, and she's flipping her shit, and so he chases her, Victor chases her out, and, um, there was this cop that was checking on, you know, where the people disappeared that the mummy killed. Um, and he overheard them fighting. So then he went and investigated. And Frankenstein broke loose and murdered the fuck out of him. Um, just destroyed him. Uh, easily. Gross. Just gross. Decent practical effects, though. Um, I think... I think, uh, those, those are okay, I guess, yeah. Not scary, but the gore's tolerable. 
Um, the lighting helps a lot because it's, you know, a dark basement. Um, it kind of gave me the feel of, like, when I was in Boy Scouts, we did, like, haunted houses, but we would do a basement, and so you'd have to, like, walk down through one bulkhead and, like, go through this, you know, haunted basement and then come out another one on the other end of the building. It was, like, that level, um, for the scenery. But then the, the practical effects for the gore was decent. Um... Yeah, so what happens? What happens? Okay, so Frankenstein breaks free. And um, so now Victor has come back from fighting with her and she's run off. And Frankenstein's like, oh, hey, I actually remember now that I'm Carter's brain. And I see my jacket and my cigarettes and I remember everything now. And you're a dick and you killed me. And so he chains Victor to the wall. And he's like, hey, I'm going to go kidnap your girl. And you're going to put me in a new body or else I'm going to kill her. Um, so he decides he's going to go. And at the same time, the mummy is like, he, so he sees a picture of this female professor and she's wearing the Eye of Horus necklace. And he's like, oh, this is the bitch that knows how to free my soul. Got to get her. Um, so now Victor wants her, Frankenstein wants her, and the mummy wants her which means the old man professor wants her because he works for the movie. <sighs> Sorry about that. I'm not going to do another video. I know it doesn't fit very well. It's not cool, but I'm not going to do another one. This is what this is what you get at 4 in the morning. Um, so Frankenstein's monster with Carter's brain, he's a dick. Like he he's not like a regular Frankenstein. Like he's straight up just Carter reanimate like the guy that steals the body parts and kills people it's just him in this lanky body you know it, it's basically just like a brain swap at this point um so he goes and he breaks into the girl's house and he's like trying to rape her um which just does not fit for the frankenstein story it was unnecessary and yucky um so she, she shanks him. She's got a knife under her bed, so she shanks him and runs away. And she runs back to Victor and uh, frees Victor in the, in the basement. And they're about to leave. And oh, shit, the mummy. The mummy's there. And totally looking for her, right? So the mummy shoves his old knife right into Victor's gut. And so he's useless, just laying there bleeding out. And she tries to run away, and the mummy just, you know, ninja style, throws this knife right into the back of her thigh. And he's about to go kill her for, like, lying to him earlier to get out of, you know, being killed. Um, and Frankenstein shows up and starts fighting the mummy, and they throw, the, throw each other through a wall, and they're in this other room... And so she's now bleeding out of her leg wound, and Victor's laying there sputtering because of his, you know, gut wound. And he's like, oh, run away, dead. Um, and she's like, ah, oh, wah, 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 I love you so much, wah, wah, wah. stupid bitch. Um, Frankenstein destroys the mummy. Like, the mummy's actually kind of badass, and Frankenstein literally just shoves his hand in the mummy, rips the heart out crushes it in his hands, and then boxes the ears of the mummy, and it explodes. Similar to, like, in Happy Gilmore, when, what's his, is it, what's his name, Chubbs, or whatever, and his hand gets uh, squashed, and it just breaks apart, and it's like paper mache that just gets demolished. It's like that. The mummy's head just, pff, gone. Um, so he's no more, right? So then Frankenstein goes back out and sees Victor... Uh, bleeding out and dying and he's like oh fuck it's your fault woman you got the mummy to come do this and I needed him to get me into a new body because this one's ugly um, so then he like tries to rape her again because he's a dick and for some reason that revives Victor Frankenstein enough that he puts a cleaver right in the middle of Frankenstein's head and now both the monsters are dead 
and he's dying and he's like, oh, you got to promise me that you burn up all the evidence so that no one could ever recreate this. And she's like, oh yeah, absolutely. And so she like pours gas and shit and she lights a match and he's dead. And the next scene is, it's a, uh, like a med student of Victor's that had found out about the work and wanted to help him. And Victor was like, nah, fuck you, right? So this kid has found the place and found the journal with all the info, but it's all burnt up. But underneath the rubble, he finds the, um, the audio recording device, the little like handheld thing, um, that Victor was recording everything in and he hears Frankenstein asking for water. And so that's, that's it. That's the end of the movie is it leaves you thinking, Oh, this other guy is going to now try to, you know, reanimate. Um, so it's not a true Frankenstein because it's more of just a brain swap, uh, not a new creature. Um, the mummy was more badass than Frankenstein and should have won that fight, but didn't, which was kind of shitty. And then Frankenstein just quickly died. Shitty. Um, the acting was shitty. The, the effects really helped a lot. Um, I found myself looking at them and being like, wow, I'm surprised with how bad this movie is that they did so well with these effects. So, so that's good. So if I got to rate it out of 10, I'm going to give it a one and a half. Um, and all one and a half points are because of the effects. Um, the, the rest of the movie itself deserves no points. Um, I just don't, I just didn't like it. I mean, the, the script is awful. The drama between the characters is just, there's zero authenticity whatsoever. Um, none of them really fit their characters. Um, so don't waste your time with, uh, with this movie. And it's a double feature. So Frankenstein theory and Frankenstein versus the mummy, both just complete and utter trash. Uh, metal moment, metal moment would be probably when the blood soaks into the mummy's face. Cause that's kind of cool. I wasn't expecting it. With the quality of the movie, I really wasn't expecting it. And so that that made me say, good for you, movie. Good. You did something good. Um, so that's it. I don't know what movie I'm watching next. Uh, I don't know how, how far we are through the month now. Um, hopefully you're enjoying it. So come back, check out another one. Thanks. Bye.